Uh, today we are going to do something that um, I've I've actually questioned whether I'm ever going to put this online, but I'll do it, and everyone uh, everyone in town and everyone in the country can just cheat off me. I'm going to finally teach everyone how to sell high-end screens. Um, I'm doing it with a client in the room. He's off camera. Uh, he doesn't want to be in the video, which is totally fine. There is actually a client in the vid in the in the room. You can say hi if you want. He'll cut you out. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's a perfect timing to do this video, and I really want to go over some screen technologies that are. This is the catalyst of my business. It's the catalyst of what we do here. We care more about uh, video quality at Theater Advice than um, than probably anybody does because we know more about it and we understand the importance of the screen. So the client uh, that just came in that I just said, hey, let's just do this video. My videographer's here, let's do it. Um, you know, he said to me, he wants it to look better with the lights on, um, which is a common thread and people, that's why people go to TVs. They want a TV in the theater. Well, a TV in this room would be, you know, even an 85 would be from here to here, which would be a tiny, sad looking display on this big wall. Um, this wall is only 17 feet wide. Uh, it's not like it's some gigantic theater. It's a bigger theater than most people have in Texas. Usually Texas is a 14 by 17 room, this being the 14. Um, but the, the most important thing to know about projectors is that uh, they all lie. And I'll say this, with all my projector companies watching me, it doesn't make a difference. I have a great relationship with all of them, uh, but they all lie. And what I mean by that is you go on their website and they'll say, uh, we have the best black levels and, and, and uh, we, you know, we make the deepest, darkest blacks and we do all this kind of stuff. Well, they're all lying. Um, the reason I say that is uh, it's impossible to send the absence of light across the room, right? It's scientifically impossible to do so. So right there, you know that I'm telling you the truth and the projectors are all lying. Um, the other uh, falsity is you'll go online, you'll go in the forums and they're going to say, hey, uh, you know, in a dark room, you should get a white screen. This is going to be the catalyst of what we're going to talk about today. In a dark room, you should get a white screen. Um, it depends on your definition of dark, or it depends on what they mean by dark, right? So when I hear these famous people, and I probably can't say their name without getting sued, that run you know, video companies in the, in the world and some of the most famous video calibrators in the world, and even they say stuff like that, I'm like, yeah, because you guys have infinite money, and you're talking about people with million dollar theaters that have decorated the whole room in black velvet or curtains and fabrics and this kind of stuff. Sure, in that environment with no reflection in a dark room, a white screen is probably the best screen if you have the lights off. Who has that room? You know, who, who, what normal client has that room? Nobody does, right? So everyone has a room like this, and it might be light gray, or it might even be dark paint, but it doesn't matter because walls reflect light, right? So when you're talking about a projector and its ability in the room, you get all these people in the forums and all these YouTube videos, and they're like, you don't need an ALR screen because your lights are, you know, you're in a dark room. Well, guess what? I'm going to show you that that's complete BS. Like I said, a no BS approach to AV. That is complete BS, and I'm going to show it to you today. So... Essentially what we've got is, this is a slate material from Screen Innovations. This is Screen Innovations white material. This is Screen Innovations black diamond material, okay? I'm gonna prove to you something that's very fundamental. I talk to all my clients about it, and that is the best black level you are ever going to get with a projector in a white screen is white. And I'm gonna show it to you in a second, don't follow me. You're gonna get this guy in there, we have to cut him out. Can you still see this at all? Yes. Okay, you'll at least see the screens if you don't see me. No one needs to see me anyway. So, bottom line is, I'm gonna hold this down here. Would you agree that this is white? Okay, I think the camera agrees this is a white piece of material here. So, this is white, right? So let me get a remote that I don't have my, well, let me see if this is charged. All right, that's good. Let's get something up here that's, Truly black or should be black, if the internet works. That's nice. All right, here we go. We've got some black stuff down here. We've got black shirts. This is solid black on a television. That would be solid black. Eyes white shut, black. It would be solid black on a TV. I think we can all agree, right? So here's my white screen. This is white. That's black, right? We all agree. I'm going to bring this in really slowly. Now, this is black. This is black. I want to blow your mind. The bottom part is darker than that in this environment, in my dark room. 
So that's showing me that the color white, right? If I put it down here, you're like, ew, that's white, that's not black, that's stupid. Why would anybody or whatever want that, right? That's seriously what anybody would think if I showed them this square. This is the best black level you're ever gonna get. You like it? They're gonna go, no. I bring it up here though, and I'm proving this is still that same thing that you hated five seconds ago. This is the darkest black level you're ever gonna get in this black room. And it is darker than a black on a projection screen. Now, I do black diamond. My whites are brighter, my blacks are blacker. In a dark room, an ambient light rejecting screen is better. It doesn't matter how dark the room is, you can paint it black. This will always give you a better picture quality or a more TV-like picture quality because it doesn't hurt the colors. This isn't making these colors terrible. They kind of used to, sorry, uh, Ryan. I know you'll probably watch this video. Um, they, they, they used to have fish scaling, um, which is like a pink or like a yellowish kind of hue to them um, and things like that. But look, this is their 11th generation and you know they've gone through generations and generations of screen technologies. And the reason I would hold this up and say, okay, well, this is, this is five grand. Customer might say, you know, well, you know, why is a piece of vinyl five grand? Well, there's, very, there's a very easy uh, answer to that. This is your white screen. You can see right here, this is a muddy gray. And as I move it, no tricks, I will move it off the screen. That color does not change. That white is still the best black level you're ever going to get in a dark room. And heaven forbid you turn the lights on because it's just going to be horrible and awful. And I'll show that to you. I actually tell people there's no reason to ever have a white screen. So this is going to be the same thing. This is now a bright white square with the lights on. A person wants to you know, view it with the lights on. And I'll bring it up just to, just to show you. This is still darker than that. So the bottom, just regular white material is still darker than black on a projection screen when it's, when it's white. So you just have these, this washed out situation going on. Lights off, lights on, doesn't really matter. But then you bring the black diamond in and of course, look, in the, in the light, we all know that it does that. That's not really a big deal. This is not a secret. Everyone knows that black diamond does this. Now the reason that these cost more is a totally separate conversation. White vinyl in most cases is just white vinyl made in China, boring, you know, it, it's not worth much money. Now, some companies do that better than others. Some bring uh, gain into the conversation. Um, Stuart Film Screen for sure makes probably the best white material in the world. They're 1.3 gain, but it's still never going to give you blacks because projectors can't make black. And on a white screen, you're just never going to get anything close to black because the black on a, on a projection screen, all they're saying is this, this section right here, okay, they're, the projector's saying, hey, we're sending less light to that area or no light to that area, which they're not doing, right? Because I can show you there's a shadow right there. So there's, even in the dark, that shadow shows up, by the way. The, uh, the projector is sending what's called a dim white light to the dark area. So that's how they trick your eye into seeing the color black. Um, but I wanted to prove by doing this that it's, it, it's still sending light there. That's why this is, this is brighter than this. So it's, it's not, not only is it not making the color black, but it's actually, it's actually ruining the color black mm -hmm. by sending light there. So the darkest area of the projection system still has some light there. So if you have a white screen, it's just constantly being washed out. The other thing is, and this is where the money comes in, a white screen will give you, and they say this online like it's a good thing, 180 degree viewing angle, okay? So you've got a 180 degree viewing angle, light is bleeding off the sides, First of all, no one's sitting over here. If they, if they are sitting over there, yes, they can see the image better than a, a, a diff, an ALR projection screen, okay? So that part's true, but no one's sitting over there, so to me, it's a waste of money and time. I will tell you that this is also why, why white screens don't work in a room with reflective walls, because the 180 degree viewing angle means 180 degree light bleed. So that is bouncing the wall or light off the side walls, bouncing it off the back, and essentially ruining its own ability to make uh, blacks. Let's get back to that. So essentially, I <laughs> see you, man. Yeah. I appreciate you coming in. Gave me a reason to start talking about this I'll, stuff. I'll, I'll talk to you again. All right. Too. See ya. I'll talk to you soon. Grab my card off the off the bar if you want. All right, um, sorry about that. This is <laughs> this real stuff goes on here sometimes. 
Um, so, and it, and it is true that when you have a white screen that it has a 180 degree viewing angle, but like I said, it's bouncing light around the room and essentially ruining its own ability to create the color black because it's washing out that section that, uh, now he can move around the room. It's washing out that section of the screen that's supposed to not have light on it, which is not true. Now, here's where the money comes in and the proof that this is worth money. So Black Diamond essentially is, in my opinion, a perfect technology now, um, and I'll show it to you. So white vinyl, no matter what angle, I can give you pretty much 100% of the brightness of the projector. That light blinking means the customer left. Um, we'll do automation on a separate, a separate, uh, separate video. So this is proving that at any angle, this screen will reflect light, which is not a good thing unless you're sitting to the side. This screen totally was shut off, proving that there actually is some science there, or quite a bit of science there, every single angle, diagonals, sideways. So the guys at Screen Innovations figured out a way through uh, doing optical coatings and um, other things mixed in the coating that are probably, you know, hidden types of crushed crystal, dusted crystal, that kind of thing, giving you 1.4 gain, which means 140% of the projector's capability to create light is coming off the screen. So you're getting 140% of the, of, the, of the ability of the projector um, from a brightness standpoint. But the screen being so dark and its ability to not reflect light off the sidewalls, as you can see here, it almost turns on and off like there's some technology in it, but it's not. Um, I think it's 11 coats of, of optical coating that's going to reject light from certain angles. Now, the reason it's so expensive is if I go out and put my Ray-Ban sunglasses on outside and I walk into a place with a menu, the menu will, it, the TVs will turn, you know, vertical. The menu will be black. And the reason for that is that your, uh, your sunglasses are polarized, right? So this acts as a giant piece of polarized material and it's rejecting all of that light from, from different angles. That's why if the TV turns sideways, you don't see it. The TV goes the right direction. You'll actually see it with your sunglasses on. So the Black Diamond is the most perfect uh, technology out there. It's gonna give you the most TV-like you know, uh, picture. White screen, here's the deal. It looks good in the dark. Uh, and I mean in the dark, dark, dark but the black levels will always suffer. It's never going to be, you know, I'm gonna go out here and turn the lights off again one more time. We're gonna shut the doors. Sorry guys, I might've jumped around the room. We had to do a battery change, but there's, a, there's no break in me talking, so. Um, and I'm gonna show you the difference. So on a white screen, you're gonna get really good colors, really no more colors than what's behind it, in my opinion. Um, it's not any more 3D. You're losing depth of color because in every single color, there is the color of white and the color black in every single color other than white and black, of course, right? Those are, those are, uh, those stand alone. But in every single other color, there is a, an element of black. The proof of that is if you go to Home Depot and you're, you're, you're getting paint mixed or whatever. If you've ever paid attention to all those colors that kind of drop in, or if you watch them, eventually black will go in. And that black is what's, is, is giving color depth to that color. So that color would have not had the same level of depth without that last black shot that gets squirted in the, the paint before they mix it. Um, and that's no different here with, uh, with projection screens. You need the color black somehow in the equation, which the projector can't do, and this screen can't do, in order to give you that TV-like picture quality. Um, and that's, the, that's kind of the lie that you see online, and that's why I really started to do this, because I start seeing all these things on, on all of the forums, and I start seeing all of these things on all of the, you know, just, just all the YouTube channels and, and reviews, and I mean, hell, I read a review on a product that I love, and I'm like rolling my eyes. It's like, that is not... That does, that's not true, you know? I mean, it's only true in that one environment that no one has. No one's talking about, hey, how's this gonna look in your normal eight, 10, 12, 15, $20,000 theater? How's this gonna look in your room? Not some million dollar theater that's covered in black velvet, because I've seen a few, we do them of course, but in those environments is the only chance you're ever gonna get a white screen to give you anything that even kind of looks like black, because you can't, and I proved it earlier. Um, but I will show you, White screens, the brightness looks good, obviously. Um, you know, you're gonna get good, good brightness, but in, I mean, the doors are shut. The only, set, the only light in this room is the projector itself right now. And you can see that black level is nowhere near even the one in the back, which is slate, so that's your halfway mark. 
I mean, this is the best black lover you're ever gonna get. But as I pull that off, no tricks, and I go down here, that's a white screen that nobody would ever want as their projection screen. And all of a sudden I bring it in here and it tricks your eye into seeing this as black. But all this is, is white. It's just white. When I flip this guy over, now we've got just infinite levels of, you know, uh, of dark um, coming into the mix. It's kind of like that paint can. It's that black being dropped into the can at the end, giving you that color depth that you're used to seeing in your living room. Sorry, I got projection on my face. You're, you know, you're used to seeing in your living room when you go to the store and you buy, you know, when you buy that TV. So I'll end it by saying, you know, when you go into one of the big box stores, and please stop doing that, by the way, but that's maybe that'll be another video. When you go into the big box stores um, and you buy your TV for your living room and you're super excited and the little kid at the, the big box store because he went to some training class is just talking about black levels and black levels and black levels and black levels, right? You, you leave that place puking black levels because that's all they talk about. This TV is better than this TV because of the black levels. And they're not wrong. That part of their training is correct. Right, so I don't understand then why when it comes to buying a projection screen, you're buying a projector that can't make black and the internet's telling you to pick a white screen that can't make black levels. So stop listening to the internet, listen to me instead. No BS approach to AV, we'll see you next video. Hey, I really just wanted to take some time um, after every video to put this on there and really thank you for watching. Um, any subscribers is gonna mean a lot, obviously, to the channel. It's gonna help us create more content. As always, please like and subscribe. And uh, the most important thing to us is that you drop something in the comment section. Um, you know, hopefully it's positive. If it's negative, that's fine. I'll probably blow right by it because uh, people's opinions of me don't matter, which is a, which is a good thing. But um, the most important thing is that you drop something in the comments section you know, that you wanna know about. And uh, a lot of times that might be something that I have experience with or, or that I've had experience with. And, and uh, you know, I, even if I don't have it here to feel, touch, see, I'm just as happy to give you my opinion on it um, and things like that. And it'll always be honest opinion. If I get five or six of those comments that I think that I should do a video on, I'll kind of just sit here and talk through those, you know, those scenarios, what I think about that. and. Uh, you know, kind of do like a and a type thing if that's cool. And um, again, I uh, really appreciate you guys watching and I hope to see you soon. Thanks.